I've noticed a trend with a lot of ladies who are, let's say, older. Not necessarily really older, but older than the guys that they're dealing with. And what I have found out is older ladies in their 30s and 40s are talking about dating younger men. And they're trying to big it up. Remember when Lala Anthony got divorced and she said uh, this? Here's how it goes. <laughs> this is what I'm finding. I don't understand this. This is how it goes. Okay. When you're younger, you want to date older guys. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying when you get older, you want to date younger guys. But when you get older, only younger guys want to date you. It's the wildest thing. Literally, guys will DM me or want to take me out and I'll Google them. I'll be like, you're 22 years old. Like, wh how? how? Like, how does this work? But like, so confident. So like, I want to take you out. I, I, I think you're amazing. I, and I'm just like. When's what's the cutoff? Like I don't know the cutoff. I'm just saying, what is the cutoff? No, it's a real but, thing. But okay, but we gotta go back. Okay. We'll get to that. Next. But, yeah, because we do. Have but to I don't get that. what this thing yeah. is like. No, it's a real thing. The older you get, the younger the guys get, and it's wild. But then there are other ladies who give, in my opinion, <laughs> no disrespect to the sister, but this is a quite silly excuse as to why you know younger men are better. I've noticed recently, like, a lot of women, and maybe even a lot of women of color, have been dating men that are younger than them. And I think it's really interesting. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, a significant age gap. It doesn't necessarily have to be, like, 10 or 15 years younger than you. I, I've been seeing women who are dating two or three years younger, or five years, or even 10 years if they're a little bit older, like 50 or 40. And I think this is interesting because I think we tend to assume that because a man is older that he's more experienced and has more, you know, emotional availability and he's been through X, Y, and Z and thus can be a better provider. But sometimes that's not the case. I think this generation of men, especially younger generation of men um, that we're seeing grow up um, surrounded by um, the media and celebrities and people just on like an app like TikTok talking about mental health, talking about their sexuality, um, gender, and kind of having this open talk and having it more in our social conversations and it being socially acceptable has paved the way for people to, especially the men, um, to be a little bit more in tune with their masculinity and with their emotions and thus being able to, I think, process a bit. You see, all of that is fluff, guys. It's moving the goal pulse. But I intend to prove, yes, here on today's show, why they really want to date younger men. Look at Dre and Michelle, for an example. Two kids by two different guys. She's dated athletes before. The last guy she dated was Tyrod Taylor. That didn't work out. So Tyrod Taylor don't really got no time for her. He's moved on. Who is she with now? Well, Jalen Green, a guy who's 18 years younger than her. And you can say it all. Well, he's young. He's nice. He's in his physical fitness or he's in the prime of his life. But I don't think that's really the case here. Let's look at the exhibit A this post on Instagram. Now the shade room put this up and here's what it says. How sweet Drea Michelle thanks a stranger for holding her hand during a flight to help her anxiety. This is very interesting, right? And look who's holding her hand. It's a white man. So this is what she says. Sad music. Y'all, I have extreme flight anxiety. Thank you God for this kind stranger on the plane because I might have needed a medic today. Be kind, spread love. So she posts there, I am so scared. The next photo is her, I believe, when she's at the next baggage claim. I am so scared of turbulence. And the phrase flight attendants take your jump seat. I don't know. I just get high and nervous and overcome with bad thoughts. Because why don't I have a jump sheet? Are we jumping? Now, this is a lady who allegedly is pregnant. Let me talk to the older guys there. All right. Um, What happened? <clears throat> Just think about this, guys, as, 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 as guys who are older men, 30, 40s, middle age. What happens to a lady if you're a rich guy, you're doing very well, and you're a baby mama, posts a picture of holding somebody's hand during a flight and puts it on social media? What is, what is the outcome for her? The outcome for her is she's relieved of her duties because she knows that is the ultimate sign of disrespect. First, if you're going to do that, and if I have evidence that she does that before, Fine, okay. But one thing that you're not gonna do is post it on social media, especially with a man of another race. Because that's the, can you imagine a white lady doing that with a black man, holding his hand, talking about she has turbulence, talking about she has anxiety? What is the outcome for her? We all know what the outcome is for her. She's gone. Get your shit and get out. That's it, okay? Now, when a younger guy is there, 
she can talk her way out of it. It's because really what it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a shit test. It's no, babe. You know what happened was I was really nervous. I'm pregnant. And you know what she's trying to do is to see where you're going to stand on that. That's really what she's trying to do. All right. So when she needs to find out where you stand on it and when you're a young guy, and I know, I, I know what guys are going to say. Well, he's rich. He got a lot of money. He can replace her. That's true. But when you're young, that doesn't mean that you know what's going on. Just like, let's look at the Super Bowl we just lost. Brock Purdy is an excellent quarterback. There are coverages and schemes and things he can't read that Patrick Mahomes can read. Why? It's experience. Okay. An older guy automatically knows that right there is disrespectful to my manhood. And the way that I got to make you pay is to alleviate you of your duties. Go with the white guy. Not to be offensive or anything like that, go with the guy. No matter his race, go with him. It's the only way to deal with this. She can cry. She can say, I'm sorry. She can say whatever. She has to be punished for that because it's disrespecting your manhood. There's no way to get around that, all right? That's something that we should relatively know. When you're a young guy or a simp, man, you know, they can explain that to you. You could be mad. You might even cuss at her, say some things. You go back to her like Marcus Jordan just did, Arsa Pippen. It's over. You see, guys, you, you need to understand something, all right? All of your life, no matter who you are, people are going to try you all the time, right? Men and women alike, but especially women. Trying to see what they can get away with. And it's your job to show them what they can get away with. Whenever they disrespect your manhood, Tough fault. And again, that was so disrespectful there. It's worth a breakup. Like immediately, I don't care how much you love her. I don't care how good she is in bed. You know, get get rid of her right away. Because see, the reason if you don't do that, what's going to happen? It's going to get worse. I keep telling guys, man, it's going to get worse. You can bet on somebody like Drea Michelle. And this is not to be mean towards her. The lady has been probably not willing to listen to the men of her counterparts for years. She, she She's not going to do that. This is the reason why Drea Michelle, until this day, most likely does not have a husband or a serious guy because she does whatever she wants to do. When you're with a guy who can make you pay for that, then what do you do? Well, if I can make you pay for that, I will. And when I'm saying making her pay for that, that means I can get rid of you, okay? I can keep you honest. Younger guys cannot keep women honest. In fact, most men can't. It's not even a younger guy thing. Most women can bet on the fact that men are stupid. We, we don't want to talk about it, but but it's true. Women know that men are not that bright. They know that. They know that most men, no matter how much money they have, that they can talk tough, they are not going to stand on their square. Men are not going to do it. They know it, all right? Because, well, you know, we're going to be honest. You know, boo, I'll, 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 I'll give you some, some of this in the, you know, in, in the bedroom. Then of course we're dumb. We'll, we're definitely going to take it. We're always going to take it because we are stupid. There we go. Hollering for Jesus, hollering for all the messiahs, hollering for every God and whatever you want to do. All of that screaming is going to happen. And you think that you did something because all of that, you know, the, that booty clapping and all this other stuff, right? This is what I'm talking about. And this is what you guys got to get. This sort of thing, you're a younger guy, okay? You're older guy, they do that. Automatic separation. Automatic separation. Get them out now. If you're going to give them a chance, make them sit it out for like six months. Trust me, all right? Let me tell you this, guys. Here's what's going to happen. She's not going to go anywhere and, and give somebody else something that's positive. That's not going to happen. You don't have to worry about that. Disrespectful, rude ladies like this one, you never have to worry about them going somewhere and making somebody else's life better. <laughs> you, <d> <laughs> uh -huh. you never have to worry about it. You can, you can rest assured, okay? She's not going to be improving some guy's life, somebody who doesn't care about herself or care about people like this lady. It's not going to happen. You can let her go and bet on the fact that she's going to be in the same situation you left her in, okay? Which is, which is why you wouldn't even want her anyway. You want her to come back apologetic i'll never do it again i'm very sorry what can i do to come back oh my goodness so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with an episode of the subway drunk pretty sure far you do is hurry bell we're out